Well, we're back, 810, with the story we've been waiting for all morning. A special event over the holiday weekend that has everyone talking. Gwen Stefani, Blake Shelton, now husband and wife. I feel like the uncle that's here to just blast. I know. All the it's, it's what than... happened? Everybody wants to know. What was it like? So can I set it up for you? So the couple, they tie the knot in Oklahoma on Saturday. And, of course, Carson, not only was he there, but he officiated the wedding. Uh, it was very, very special. It was yeah. incredible to be a part of such an important moment in their lives. The ceremony was a perfect blend of country and glamour, of course, just like Blake and Gwen. On a beautiful day in Oklahoma, in front of a small group of family and friends, Gwen and Blake said, I do. The bride, stunning in a Vera Wang gown. The groom, in his trademark blue jeans. Gwen's sons, there to celebrate mom's special day. And the lucky officiant, blessed to witness their new beginning in a chapel Blake built just for the occasion. The newlyweds tying the knot after six years together, finding love in the place where they least expected it on the set of The Voice, meeting for the first time when Gwen joined the show for its seventh season. And then you and Blake had obviously never met before this at all. I know That's Blake's odd, been a fan it? of No Doubt. And Who is he? <laughs> I'm a fan of Blake. I really am. Oh, he, I love you, you, Blake. You I are so freaking funny. The country crooner instantly taken with the iconic rocker. She's just such an accomplished artist, and what she's done for, for women and music, I would probably pick Gwen if I was standing up there. As their friendship grew, personal struggles behind the scenes brought them closer. Their first duet, Go Ahead and Break My Heart, giving everyone a peek into their world. When do you know, too bad, I know I've been hurt before, but I'm going for I'm this. I'm going again, yeah. Well, I mean, I think you can see the... The you know the look on our faces there. It's like at some point you're like, you know what? I'm giving it be, too bad. We, it's yeah, it just is what it is now. So mm -hmm. let's go for it. Forty-five-year-old Blake says meeting Gwen saved his life. It's a miracle that I met somebody that was going through the same exact thing that I was at the exact same moment in time. Now here we are, you know, going on three years later, and every day that goes by, it just feels like a stronger bond between the two of us, and it's constantly feels like it's going to the next level. Gwen, at 51, believes meeting Blake was a true miracle. She's especially grateful for the relationship he has with her boys. He's so gifted and so unique and talented, and he really just is my best friend. It's just a blessing, the whole thing, and it is a miracle. You want to fight, Blakey? Ha! Over the years, fans have fallen in love with the unlikely pair. This music that Blake turned me on to is called country music. Ooh. Um, yeah, I haven't really listened to much of that um, on my ska playlist. Never missing a chance to poke fun at themselves, even in this 2020 Super Bowl ad. Gwen? Blake? Um, oh my God, hilarious, right? I mean, no. What do you mean? Through it all, their love is evident on screen and in their music. Now, living their happily ever after. I mean, the wedding was really, it was, the best way to describe it is it was perfectly them, mm. you know, the whole weekend and the marriage itself. It was as elegant and refined and cool as Gwen is, and it was as mm. country and down home and fun as Blake is, and they, they just work. They're an unlikely pair. You know, they're, they're like if you paired delicious fried chicken with a glass of champagne. <laughs> You know, like on yeah. paper on the menu, it doesn't seem to work, but it's it works. They're yeah. comfort food with class, and yeah. everybody roots for that. Yeah. And um, I don't want to divulge too much because it is their their wedding and their weekend. It's their story to tell. I will tell you one great story about the wedding itself, and that was yeah. I worked on it for months with them and without them to get the ceremony just how they wanted it. Yeah. One of the things I went to them months ago and said, you know, I think you guys should write your own vows. We shouldn't mm -hmm. just do the repeat after me. Yeah. 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 And they were really reluctant to do that. Um, but they, they decided to us. You guys are two of the best songwriters in the world. You know, oh, yeah. we want to hear your words. Yeah. So at the wedding, Gwen starts, and she wrote this, I mean, like, since I was a little girl, blah, blah, blah. Oh. And she crushes. Not a dry eye in the church. Oh. On the, we are all like, and it was so perfect. that yeah. I said to Blake, when she was done, I'm like, top that, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Blake starts by saying, you know, Gwen's always giving me a hard time about not writing enough songs. Yeah. So I wrote a song. <gasps> Guitar comes in frame, stool. No Next way. thing you wow. know, he wrote her a song, and he sings her a song while he's crying that he wrote specifically for her. 
uh, Reach the Star, I think that it was so called. Wow. And the, not a dry eye in the house. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And that was really a highlight. It sounds like a wedding on a cloud. Yeah, it really you know? was. It was a bunch of pinch me moments, and mm. it was just their family. It was small. It was it was perfect. And no. you you have 12 jobs, and, and, <laughs> now, and now you've picked up a 13th. Now you're Reverend Carson Davis. I think I have to retire on this one, though, because, as I mentioned earlier, my rate now, if you want me to marry you, is just through the roof. <laughs> Because of yeah, the high right. level yeah. clientele, I have. you only yeah. do celeb weddings. Right. I, it was it was great. I, listen, I've known them both forever. I've known Gwen for twenty five years. Mm -hmm. I was friends with them both when they met separately. Mm -hmm. I love Blake to death. He's like a, the brother I never had. Um, and then to have the opportunity when they called me, I knew where I was. They both had me on speakerphone. And they said, you know, we just we think it work. We think you're perfect for it. Wow. Gwen and I both share a deep sense of faith. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot about faith, the two of us. And, um, and to work with them and their family, to get to be a part of that day with my family was really an honor. I mean, it was just, it was fun, too. Like, I don't want people to think, like, oh, it's a big celebrity wedding. Oh, right, we right. had a blast all weekend long. I believe you. That's wow. amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you still have any reverend business cards? I do. I, the gift shop got me at the Life Church online. I got, I got cards. It's not and, Life Church. Yeah, I have a clergy pin that I wore <laughs> on the plane and the whole I thing. So. He's not even joking about that. No, my services, I'm available. Um, oh, my gosh. Thank you for yeah. taking us yeah. inside. Yeah. It, was, was, it, was, it was really a beautiful weekend. And you're a good friend. Just FYI. I, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. Yeah. And All congrats. Right. Pinch me moment. Do you congrats think we'll ever morning. hear that song? That's a great question. I told him because the, when he was saying his vows, like that's not only, of course, like the the radio guy. I mean, I'm like, right. that's a hit song. Yeah. I don't think he had a name for it. I texted him last night, and I think he wrote me. It's called "Reach the Star" was the working title. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll record it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now we're curious. It'll put everybody in the wedding at that moment if he records that song. Oh my goodness, you will be awesome. transformed on that that hilltop he'll in Oklahoma in the middle of nowhere. He'll, he'll put it out. Yeah. He'll do it. Congrats, Blake. Yeah. Congrats. After now, and I get the royalties if you do. <laughs> Congrats to Reverend yes. Daly as well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.